Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. I've been having a lot of fun doing some tag videos lately. I just think it's fun to give my opinions on the answers and it's fun to let you guys kind of see what kind of reader I am and what opinions I have so you can see if you agree or disagree and want to subscribe. So today I'm doing the book snob tag and I actually just saw this tag on Bookable's channel and Heather did the tag so I'll link her video down below as well as the original creator and I just thought it was a fun interesting one that I hadn't really seen before. Doesn't talk too in depth about books themselves but more about bookish things. Question number one is adaptation snob. Do you always read the book before you watch the movie? And for this, I would say 99% of the time I do. If it's an adaptation based on a book I have any interest in reading, then I 100% have to read the book first. Otherwise, I'm never going to read it more than likely. So anything that I see coming up, if I think that the synopsis sounds interesting, I'll make sure that I read the book before the movie comes out or at least before I watch it. But there are a couple times, well, especially in the past maybe, that I did watch some things before I read the books, like Hunger Games. I've never read The Hunger Games because I saw all the movies first and then knowing what was gonna happen, I just never went to pick them back up. And it is still something that I think I would like to watch or read someday so that I can see the source material. But yeah, I watched those movies still haven't read the books and then ready player one i was interested in the book but there was so many other things that i wanted to read that i finally said okay let's just watch the movie and i loved the movie so much but now that i've watched the movie i just don't have that much of an interest in picking the book up so i would say i always try to read the book before i watch the adaptation question number two is format snob so you can only choose one format to read your books from for the rest of your life do you choose physical books audiobooks or ebooks and if you asked me about a year ago i would have hands down said physical books without a doubt because i still do really really love reading physical books but now i have to go with ebooks which like I said, is very strange to say out loud. But as I mentioned, um, I read when I'm running. And so I used to prop my physical book up on the treadmill and run with my arm extended, holding the book in front of me the whole time. So doing this for like a year or more straight, I gave myself a back injury and I tore my hamstring all on the side that I hold my book open with. So I got two injuries from doing that. So I had to transfer to reading on my Kindle. And that has obviously been great for my running because... I run, I don't know, 30 to 50 miles per week. So that's a lot of time spent reading on the treadmill. So that's gotten me into the habit of reading on my Kindle. So now I read from my Kindle all the time at home even. And I would say mm, still 70% of the time that I'm at home, I read on my Kindle even if I have the physical book with me because I feel like I read faster on the Kindle. It just, you, you flip through the pages and the time passes faster. So I could never choose audiobooks because I sometimes get lost been listening to audiobooks and I have to back it up and I have to listen to it really slow. While I still enjoy listening to them, it's just much harder for me. Question number three is ship snob. Would you date or marry a non-reader? And of course, obviously, I think that that's pretty selective, probably not in a great way to say that you wouldn't marry somebody because they don't enjoy reading. Obviously, that'd be great if I'm single right now, so that would be great if I did meet somebody one day that had a love for reading as much as I do because it would be great to share that hobby together. But I have been in relationships with people who are not readers before and it's not a problem. As long as it's somebody who will listen to me rave about my books all the time, that's key. Question number four is genre snob. You have to ditch one genre and never read it again for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? And I would say that pretty easily I could choose like romance or erotica. I have no interest in reading either of those. It's just not what I like investing my time into and that's not to say anything negative about those who do. It's just not what I find interesting and what I find joy in reading. And so I, I was debating between like YA contemporary but still sometimes there's YA contemporaries that I've really enjoyed reading. So I didn't want to say that. And I do read thriller and horror so I wouldn't want to give those up. Yeah, definitely romance. Number five is uber genre snob. You can only choose one genre to read from for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? And that's really easy because right now I almost exclusively read fantasy. So I would without a doubt choose fantasy to read from for the rest of my life. And it really wouldn't be a problem much at all. Number six is community snob. Which community do you think receives the most snobbery? And this is kind of hard for me because I really haven't seen a lot of negativity on booktube at all. I don't know if I just am not 
in the right circles to notice it, but I don't really notice a lot of negativity. From other people, it seems like the most common answer is romance and that people tend to look down upon those who read romance, but I personally don't read romance, so I've never experienced that snobbery. So that one's a really hard one for me to answer, so I'm just gonna have to go with romance, I suppose. And the last one, question number seven, is snobbery recipient. Have you ever been snobbed for something that you're reading? And I would say probably not like in a purposefully rude or mean way, but when I meet people that do read, not from like the book community, and they say, oh, like, what do you like to read? And of course, right off the bat, I say, oh, fantasy. I love anything magical, fictional, not in this world because I want to be somewhere else when I'm reading. And they, I would say most people I talk to, they're like, oh, well, I read nonfiction. And they just kind of like, why would you want to spend your time reading those silly things? That's kind of the vibe I get from it, whether it's intended that way or not. And then I would also say, I feel like I receive that a little bit for when I read things like manga or watch anime, since those sort of go together. It's not exactly like if you were to judge me, maybe from the outside, you wouldn't necessarily expect that, oh, I like watching anime and reading manga. And so people kind of think like, isn't that kind of young or silly or childish, which of course it's not to me. So I guess those are the two that I would say maybe have impacted me a little bit. But yeah, so that is the book snob book tag. So feel free to do this tag if you are interested also. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.